France's second largest bank has asked the Front National to close all its accounts and take its business elsewhere. Societe Generale, Social General, told the far right party led by Marine Le Pen it wished to end its 30 year banking relationship without giving a specific reason. FN officials say they are fighting the move and claim the party is being persecuted. The party headquarters in Nanterre, outside Paris, and local FN federations have all been targeted, the news website Mediapart and France Inter Radio reported on Tuesday. According to an internal party communication leaked to Mediapart, the bank is seeking to close all current and savings accounts held by the party. It seems the bank wants nothing more to do with us, FN spokesman David Rachline told Sud Radio on Tuesday morning. It's a real scandal we will resist and fight to overcome this persecution, Rajline added. Social General has refused to comment on the row, citing client confidentiality. We can only say that as part of the relationship we have with all our customers, whether it be for the opening or closing of an account, we follow the current regulations and requirements required of a banking establishment to the letter, it said. On Tuesday, FN officials denied the decision was made because party accounts were in the red. If that was the case, why hasn't Societe Generale closed the, center-right, umply Republicans' accounts when they owe the considerable sum of 50 million euro, Walran de Saint-Just, the FN treasurer, said. He added, the Front National's situation is perfectly healthy and there's no reason for any banker to use that as an excuse to so brutally throw out a long-standing customer that has always behaved according to the banking rules. Louis Alliot, the FN vice president and L.E. Penn's partner, said the party had no direct financial problems. A certain number of financial institutions have difficulty with democracy and pluralism, Alliot told BFM TV. I've noticed that Societe Generale is very generous with les Republicains, especially when it comes to renegotiating their debts, when they own 50 million euro, which is not our case. He added, the French need to know that democracy is in the hands of the banks and those with money. During L.E. Penn's presidential campaign in which she reached the second round runoff in May against Emmanuel Macron she claimed French banks were refusing to lend money to finance her leadership bid which cost about 12.5 million euro. This sum will be reimbursed out of state coffers but only after the party's accounts have been inspected and approved. FN federations took a second hit after failing to do as well as expected in the legislative elections in June, reported to have cost a further 15 million euro. In January, the FN appeared to be struggling to raise campaign funds after L.E. Penn was asked to repay a 9 million euro loan from a Russian-based bank that had been dissolved. L.E. Penn met the Russian leader, Vladimir Putin, at the Kremlin in March, two months before the presidential vote. The FN is reported to have been asked to close its social general accounts several months ago, but had challenged the decision with the banking mediator without success. On Monday, the party asked its federations to send monthly contributions by check because it had encountered difficulties with direct debits.